The late Ralph Hallenstein, a West Michigan businessman and philanthropist for many years, was a key player in the D-Day invasion. His efforts are being recognized in a museum on the east side of the state this D-Day. 24-Hour News 8's Joe LaFergi has our story. The Ralph Hallenstein exhibit here at the Heroes Museum in Frankenmuth is part of a larger effort by a very proud grandson who wants to keep his grandfather's story alive for generations to come. This map uh, actually goes back to uh, the 1st of June. For decades, it remained rolled up in a cardboard sleeve. But now, this map outlining the Allied invasion has brought a turning point in World War II to life. It's all hand-drawn and hand-colored by a colored pencil. Um, just an amazing artifact uh, from that time period. It's just one piece of history Ralph Howenstein left for future generations. Howenstein was typical of the greatest generation, an ordinary man who did extraordinary things. Much of his life highlighted in an exhibit at Frankenmuth's Hero Museum. Howenstein, the longtime Grand Rapids entrepreneur and philanthropist who died in 2016 at the age of 103, was an Army intelligence officer before and during the war. His work vital to the Allies, he found a code book in a German warplane shot down over Iceland in 1940 that helped the Allies stay a step ahead of the Germans. And on D-Day, he was in London at the side of General Dwight D. Eisenhower as the Allied Supreme Commander's Chief of Intelligence. While far away from the beachheads, Brian Hallenstein says D-Day was tough on those, like his grandfather, who played a key role behind the scenes. It weighed heavily on their souls. It weighed heavy on their minds what they were you know, what they were planning for these young men in most cases, right? Sending many of them to their, to their death. Hallenstein was there for other turning points in the war, including the liberations of Paris and the infamous Nazi concentration camp at Deschau. He returned to the U.S., raised his family, became a success at business, and helped in the rebuilding effort in Europe. It's on one of those trips when he came across a baker shaping a piece of dough into a little fish. That led to yet another Hallenstein legacy, the invention of the goldfish cracker, which lives on today. They're at the uh, bottom of every uh, minivan, <laughs> minivan throughout the world, right? <laughs> but as we mark an anniversary of an event several generations removed, Brian Hallenstein hopes his grandfather's legacy will live on. I think it's so important for not just West Michigan, we know and love him here in West Michigan, but for the entire state and you know, possibly even the nation to understand what this man had done. And if you want to learn more about the life and legacy of Ralph Hallenstein, we have links at woodtv.com. In Frankenmuth, Joe LaFergie, 24 Hour News 8.